In Albania, wild birds live a perilous life. They have to dodge fearless poachers, avoid busy highways, and now one of their only safe havens in Nata Lagoon is under threat from a mass tourism project and new airport. Albania is on one of the most important flyways for migratory birds traveling between Europe and Africa. There are plans to build an international airport inside this protected zone. Let's do some research in the Albanian red lines. Coming with us is Arian Mavriki, a high-profile wildlife photographer. He has made Narta Lagoon one of his favorite hunting grounds for great bird pictures. The lagoon is used by local fishermen. Victor Mosca is one of them. This is him preparing the nets he'll use on his small boat. He's not afraid of the huge airport project. Like many Albanians, he believes in the economic benefits of tourist developments here. This airport will be good for our villages and towns. It's nearby and we'll not have to go to Tirana airport anymore. On top of that, they'll build a street directly to the beach here and build a lot of hotels. All of this will bring employment. The government's master plan reveals that it is not just an international airport. It is also the large-scale construction of hotels, marinas and tourist resorts. Scientists such as Erold Zika from the Albanian Ornithological Society and Sijon Vorpsi, project manager at the Nature Protection Organization, PPNEA, are horrified. This location is one of Albania's and the Mediterranean's largest and most important wetland ecosystems. Birds use this part of the Adriatic flyway to, to migrate. So if we, if we put under threat this place, it will be a barrier for them. These plants go against our national and international laws. So Albania aspires to become a member state of European Union and uh, these plans go against the directives of birds and habitats. We don't have the luxury to lose such, such a gem. Albania has signed the agreement on the conservation of African Eurasian migratory water birds, which concerns 92 species found at Nata Lagoon. But with the upcoming elections, political parties, including those governing and the main opposition, are siding with tourist promoters. Albania's economy would benefit from coastline tourism investment. It's one of Europe's poorest countries, and the region is in urgent need of an economic boost. The mayor of Vlora presents his city as the future of Mediterranean tourism. He counteracts bird watcher arguments by saying the location of the new airport was once already an airport. The airport will be built in an area where for many years before the 90s there was a military airport. And of course economic development is the aim of my work as the mayor. I strongly believe that this city will get an important boost from the construction of the airport. I think it should be done in the shortest time possible. Zika and Vorpsi take us to the former and future airport site. Here it is, an officially protected landscape. This area is part of almost all the international ecological networks a natural site in Albania can be part of. More than 200 wild birds come here. The airport, it wasn't a real one. Let's say it was just uh, for an airport for military uh, training. They are proposing a real airport with a lot of airplanes moving around. And we are not against an airport. We are against the place that they choose. This is a, a big issue for the whole network of our protected areas. If we create a precedent that uh, uh, we can build whenever we want uh, strategic investments in a protected area, we can do that later also in the other areas. To convince locals to change their minds, Birdwatchers launched a goodwill operation. They're exchanging bird photos for stuffed ones. The owner of this tavern likes the idea of a new airport, but not in the protected area. I think the best would be to build the airport in an area a bit further away. Here it affects the Nata Lagoon, which is very close, and hampers the ecosystem and all the species living here in the area. I think it's more suitable to build the airport a bit further away. 
The lagoon and surrounding area attracts big birds such as pelicans, herons and flamingos in huge numbers. Potential collisions with aeroplanes is a risk. Hotel constructions are popping up along the coastline. The country's strategy to develop a bigger tourist industry destroys marshlands. Erold Zika works with a group of Hungarian ornithologists. Albanian-Hungarian research on migratory routes started six years ago. To get exact data, strong male birds are equipped with solar-powered radio emitters. Okay. But despite the research, Albanian politicians are still going ahead with construction plans. While Zika checks the nets for more birds to be monitored, let's look into the European Commission's country report scrutinising Albania's legislation on strategic investments, which could become a gateway for large investments in protected areas. The Commission raised concerns for the protection of biodiversity, concerns shared by some 37 wildlife organisations from all over Europe. They wrote an open letter to the Albanian Prime Minister. Yeah, the coastal area in Albania are under pressure. They are planning to, to do some resorts and huge tourism. And we, if we do like this, we will lose those habitats. During the migratory route, they use those habitats like a stopover to, to feed and to refuel and to go to another continent and, and, uh, and back again. So we have to protect those and we have to protect it now. If mindsets don't change, the vulnerable water bird populations will diminish further. And perhaps one day, some species will only be seen in museum showcases, like these ones in Tirana. Jerry Chermel is a project manager with nature organization PPNEA. He tells us about the Pied Avocet. This is one of the species that breeds in the area, which uh, could not breed anymore if the airport will be built. Back in Nata Lagoon, the day is drawing to a close. As a child, Arian Navriki found an injured bird. In his small town, there was no vet, so he carried it to the local hospital. But the doctor refused to take care of it. Little Arian took a decision then that would change his life. He became a wildlife photographer. I'm witness there is a lot of birds here, and I'm, I'm taking a good pictures. I'm not sure if I, can, if, if I can do that anymore if there is an airport. I hope that people will convince uh, them not to build an airport here. Never, ever. Albania wants to become an EU member state. This means the country is expected to respect EU law, including the European directives to protect wildlife and habitats.